arbitrary? Council passed the mic to me! Ta-da! Good day! It's lovely to see you at last. You may be wondering who I am, so let me remind you. It's a familiar name, don't worry. I'm Violet! Violet! You finally get to meet me! How exciting! Oh, and don't worry about my ex, Dolores. She's been dead for years, or I think so anyway. Her memories must have been transmitted to that monster from the fog, but it'll be dealt with by tomorrow. As for what it said, yeah, it's true. We took away all the light, and we're not giving it back. <laughs> the light belongs to us now. To me, because you fools wouldn't even know what to do with it once you had it in your grasp. You're hungry to attain things that you scum can't even understand. Yeah, Dolores was right. I buried this whole fucking world in a grave. I dug you a happy little six foot deep home so you could make friends with the worms. How fitting. You deserve worse. <laughs> Dolores, though, brings back some memories. I'll tell you something. She was there when there was still light in this world. She was always by my side. She loved me. Almost as much as that vigilante cared about Issa. But wouldn't you know it? I killed him. He was a bit too... troublesome. Just like Dolores. So troublesome. I was tired of having her around. But once I executed Dolores, she just... survived? She was dead. But alive. Like I said, she's been dead for years now. Undead creatures weren't supposed to exist. Maybe it's because she spent so much time around me. Anyway, this world-killing god got bored and decided to start roaming around City Hall earlier. I saw people in Arbitrary's lab were busy being test subjects and such. I call them testies, which is funny because it reminds me of balls. I decided to let one loose. You know, for the funsies. Then it started roaming outside aimlessly and taking people's skin and shit. Full body circumcision! My friend Turquoise would say that's gnarly, brah. I put it in some fog for spooky points. Next thing you know, it starts getting Dolores' memories. Whoops. <laughs> I may have made the mistake. Huh? Who's there? We're leaving? No! I was just getting started! I just got here. You take me away from Good evening, Arbitrary. This is Eli speaking. And this so-called Dolores is quietly with me as well. The creature hasn't spoken in hours. <laughs> I, I can't. It's broken inside! It's broken inside! It's broken inside! We apologize to Violet for the interruption, but we needed to make clear that the danger that's been surfacing again and again means nothing to us. And that is to say, there's Nothing that's beyond our control! We consulted our predictors to find more information about the beast. It was, as you heard, merely an abomination with Dolores' memories. The one who I thought was approaching us. <laughs> no. No, no. She's gone. She was sent away. Wherever she is, she is, one way or another, already dead as well. I broadcast to you now, in the aftermath of the fallen trees, just outside the strange fog that has been laced with memories. It's a small, portable station. We'll be picking ourselves up soon. I'm so glad that they thought of me the council. They remembered me. At first I thought that they were trying to kill me, but oh, I knew they valued me more than anything. They love me. <laughs> How beautiful is that? I was saved by love. 
I can't. I can't see. Oh god, oh my god, what happens to me? They loved me. They loved me. Why can't I see? I wanted to be useful, that's all I wanted. I just wanted to be useful! I wanted to help them. I've always been their greatest servant. How then? How could this happen to- <laughs> Will I never be useful? How could they take sight away from me? How could they do that to me? I don't understand. Why? Why? Apologies, Arbitrary. Violet truly is a hypocrite. She cares so much how others must pronounce her name, and yet she mispronounced things like Vigilante and Issa. What a monster. How unfair. But let us all thank her now for <coughs> putting this world back into the shadows of peace. She takes responsibility for creating the utopia laid before you, but it was a whole rainbow of effort. Many of our greatest and bravest gods worked together to create this world of darkness. You can thank everyone. I want to see again. I want to see again. I want to see again. I think I can feel the fog approaching me. But I'm not sure. Dolores, are you there? Apologies, but I'm afraid I don't know your true name quite yet. Oh. Dear friend, there you are. <laughs> I was worried you had left. I don't want to be alone right now. <sighs> I'm afraid. The last thing that I need to be is alone. <laughs> Am I to read today's weather? Am I? Am I to read the news? That is all that I've always done. No matter how bad the situation, I've always done that. I've always served the council. They were the ones that I put first. And now, look at how they've gifted me with blindness. Look at the beauty. Of the shadow. Yeah. That's it. The darkness. That's right. It's beautiful. They wanted me to see how beautiful the shadows were. <laughs> yes, of course. How could I have been so foolish? How could I have been misguided, even for a moment? Yes, that's it. The shadows are so... Beautiful, everything is beautiful now. My dear monstrous friend, I know that you were scared too, but don't worry. It should all be over soon. The vigilantes should be here at any moment. You caused quite a ruckus earlier. I don't think that you'll get away with that. Please. Don't resist them. Have a wonderful rest. That's too easy. <laughs> that concludes today's events. You can expect the sanitation department of Arbitrary to maintain the scene later on in the day. For now, be wary. Things will be kept extra secure from now on. You can be certain that nothing will escape our sights. 
Though we are blind, we see all. Nothing escapes us. Nothing escapes me. I see all. I know what you're doing. I know what you could be doing. And if you try to disrupt the shadows of this beautiful world, I will put an end to everything. This has been Eli, signing off.